It's time now for the PHL New News Report for this Thursday, January 8, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Victor Wiggins and I am New News at 9. Zero Knock Top Story at 12 noon here is... In Long Pond, France, where a deadly attack of reports said it, and another day on Edge 13 in France, where Manhattan continues for two brothers, one in the front of massacre at the office of the Centrica magazine, Charlie Hedebo. California Senator Barbara Boxer, a standard bearer of liberal politics who has served in Congress for more than three decades, announced Thursday that she will not run for another term. On Wednesday, Bill Cosby returned to the state for the first time since being slammed with a number of sexual abuse allegations for the first of three scheduled shows in Canada. The Associated Press reports that Cosby walked stage with a sweater as protesters picket Bill Cosby returned to the stage. In Montpelier, Vermont, Vermont's new legislature re-elected the state's governor Thursday in the second day of its session after the incumbent failed to get more than 50% of the vote in November. Pfizer Incorporated said Thursday that it began talks with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to finalize the prescription label of its breast cancer drug palbocyclob as an indication that the drug was likely closer to regulatory approval. The city of Boston and other towns around the region were closed school due to freezing temperatures there. Sony hackers may have left deliberate clues, expert says. Divers battled swift currents and murky waters Thursday as a hunt for Air Asia's Flight 8501 elusive black box continued to be the bottom of Indonesia's Java Sea. Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader, is celebrating its birthday on Thursday as Spotty turned 32 for his birthday like may have topics is a mystery. Sri Lanka on edge has voted and ends in tight presidential election. The bodies have been buried in the killers on the loose, but that didn't prevent anti-Islam politicians across Europe from seizing on yesterday's massacre in Paris. A Florida man stopped 15, took his five-year-old daughter from his vehicle, hugged her head to his chest, then tossed her over the bridge rail, 60 feet in the cold water of Tampa Bay, where her lifeless body was recovered, police said Thursday. Charlie Baker will eventually succeed to Paul Patrick this afternoon as governor of Massachusetts once he has sworn in the during a ceremony at the State House. GMC OC's U.S. auto market funded and but boom for growth. Legal Miron Company, private to holding scores millions from Peter Field. Hey. Doing good. How are you? Doing good. Uh, I'm in the middle of something. I gotta, oh, I'm sorry. I gotta plug the same John John will square up for you. You told me. Yep. All right. He'll give you. I don't know. He'll talk to you, but he'll give you a certain amount um, for the winter just to cover the electric running over there. Thank you. Thank you. In Washington, fewer Americans applied for the unemployment benefit. Last week, a sign that employers expect ongoing economic growth and the need to hold on to workers. In new release, Apple says that its app stores hit record sales on New Year's Day and then in the week following that record day. Apple customers worldwide spent nearly half a billion dollars on apps and in app purchases, the company reports. In Las Vegas, Tom Wheeler, chairman of the Federal Communication Commission, FCC, used his annual appearance at the International Consumer Electronics Show. To issue a ring and an equivocal endorsement of internet neutrality, essentially. Salt State drives are commonly used nowadays in premium ultrabooks, laptops, and desktop PCs, mainly because they are faster and more energy efficient and run cooler than traditional hard drives. And Judge Lee has met the 39 year old actress, started her off year off in Italy, where she's held a private screen of a film on back in a Thursday. Evidence that Mars once harbored an alien life continues to map just weeks after NASA's Curiosity rover detected spikes of methane in the Martian atmosphere, possibly evidence of biological activity. A prominent geobiologist said that she's possible signs. Astronomers have created 3D models of binary system, Eta Carina, which uh, half a century and a half ago began injecting mass out of an amount of help, gaseous material. NASA boffins are turned into place in the Galactic Travel Agency after issuing a series of cherry travel. Posters for exoplanets. Biotech Powers, Genetic Incorporated and 23andMe Incorporated will work together to find potential new treatments for Parkinson's disease. 
Visitors to the Legacy Emmanuel Medical Center of Legacy Hospitals in Oregon are being restricted to an increase in flu cases. Take a look at the stock market report. U.S. stock market report Dow Jones 17.871.52 up 2.87. SP 528.43 up 32.53. Nasdaq 47.28.64 up 78.17. European markets here 9837.61 on the DAX up 319.43. FTSE 6569.96 up 150.13. CSA 40, 40, 40.42, 60.19 up 147.46. Asian markets, Nick K, 17167.10 up 281.77. Shanghai 23294.35 down 79.61. HSI 23835.53 up 154.27. Oil markets, 48.37 down 8 cents. Brent 15.75 down 40 cents. And natural gas 2.927 up 56,000 a point. Gold markets, 1213 up 2.30. Silver 16.43 down 119. And Copper 2.758 down 5,000 a point. In the bonds, US 10 yield 2.0144% up 262,000 a point. And German 10 yield 0.511% down 1,000 a point. And Japanese 10 yield 0.29% up 1,000 a point. FX, European US dollar 1.1807 down 329,000 a point. US dollar, Germany's yen 119.54 up 29 cents. And Great Britain pound US dollar 1.5109 unchanged. Take a look at New England Minutes Alerts here at 12.06 air. North Windham, Connecticut, 280 Techie Road, Shed Fire. Fires now spread in the vehicles as multiple propane and oxygen tanks bent and exploded at Windham Center and South Windham Mutual Aid. Rochester, Massachusetts has motor accident with injury and Braley Hill Road at Fairbury Bend Lane. Two vehicles involved. Airbag deployment with an entrapment and additional ALS ambulances to the scene. Free time EMS for MA. Peabody, Massachusetts, 13 Mount Pleasant Drive, a working fire used caution in area. Freetown, Massachusetts, fire Freetown DPW on Chase Road, as fully involved truck fire inside of 80 by 20 space metal building and working fire assignment. No more MA at this time, here. In sports news, here, JP Parisi, a 73 year old, a long time Minnesota North Stars and player. And father of current Minnesota Wild Star, for Zach Tracy, dies one day of lung cancer. Bill Belichick on Weaver, they're playing outside, we're practicing the time. As it is really, really cold around New England, so cold that some schools around Massachusetts decided to keep their doors shut on Thursday. But Bill Belichick doesn't care about the weather. And meanwhile, for the Ravens and Gary Kubiak's defense, the Baltimore Ravens they used the effective switch runs to set up their play action game, which was one of the most dangerous process to attack. And Thank the Boston Bruins be at the Garden to in New Jersey Devils. Game time, 7 o'clock. Peter Chell News Time is now 12.07. It's time now for a travel reporter, and it's smooth standing our ways, byways in New England there. And take a look at 195 on the West Band side. We got an accident on 195, around Route 44 in Providence, so expect some delays. But otherwise, a smooth sailing commute on the highways and on the rails on the MBTA Red Line experience and minor delays to a track issue between Charles MGH and Kendall MIT stations. And on the commuter rail, Fitchburg staff acting line train 49, 11 a.m. from North Station delayed 15 20 minutes due to track problem. And Fitchburg staff acting line train 414, 10 35 a.m. from Fitchburg delayed 30 to 40 minutes today due to the track problem here. All right, let's take a look at the weather situation here on this Thursday afternoon here. And it is freezing out. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts at Noon time, 13 degrees at temperature with first guys. Humidity 38%, with speed west by 10 miles per barometer, 3.3 inches, dew about 8 degrees below zero. Visibility 10 miles and wind chill about 0 degrees. Okay, let us take a look at our current conditions around the region here. 9 above in Boston, 9 above in Pittsburgh, 7 above in Bedford, 5 above in Beverly, 3 above in Gloucester, 7 above in Worcester and Sturbridge. Has 6 degrees, Webster 7 degrees, 10 above in Milford 11 in Norwood, 10 in Taunton, and Bedford and Plymouth and Provincetown. Falmouth 9 in Chatham, Cut 9, 7 in Cape Cod Bay, 11 in Marsbury and Nantucket. It's 16 in Block on 12 in Wesley and Providence. It's 10 in Smithfield, 17 in New York City, 16 in Montauk, 18 in, in Montauk, 16 in Nislip, 17 in Bridgeport, 13 in Waven, 14 in Denbury, 12 in Waterbury, 14 in Meriden, 12 in Hartford, 11 in Windsor Locks, 9 in Springfield, Massachusetts, 6 above in Greenfield and Fall, 7 in Pittsfield, 10 in North Amazon, 4 in Albany, New York, 2 in Saratoga Springs, 4 in Bainton, 3 in Barber, 1 in Rutland, Vermont, 2 below in Lebanon and Lacornia, New Hampshire, 3 above in Keene, New Hampshire, 2 in Jeffrey, 1 below in Concord, 4 in Manchester, 6 above in Nashua, 7 above in Portsmouth, and 1 above in Biddeford, Maine. 
Current conditions, Rand Region, it's 3 above in Detroit and Pittsburgh, 17 in Washington, D.C., 18 in Atlanta, 61 in Miami, 39 in Brownsville, Texas, 20 above in Dallas, Texas, 9 above in Kansas City, Missouri, 7 above in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 3 below in Chicago, Illinois, 17 above in Omaha, Nebraska, 13 in Great Falls, Montana, 39 in Seattle, 15 in San Francisco, 54 in Los Angeles, 49 in Las Vegas, 27 in Salt Lake City, Utah, 42 in Denver, 16 in Phoenix, and 22 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Here, oh wait, let's take a look at our radar situation here, and it shows some spotty snowflakes on 140 in New Bedford here, around Sherwood Forest here in New Bedford, snowing around Hammer Rock and Citrate, and snowing around the Sagamore Bridge in Sagamore, and little blobs of snow around Kingston and Plymouth, and around Pembroke, so we're seeing some snow flurries along with its frigid cold weather here, and take a look at Around the country here. As we're going to take a look at us. Radar situation and it shows some snow showers in eastern portions of Ontario, western portions of Quebec. Snow showers in east central portions of Nova Scotia, snowing in Wisconsin, western and northern Illinois, eastern Iowa, now around eastern Minnesota. Snow showers in northeastern South Dakota, west central Mon Minnesota. Snow showers in west central portions of South Dakota, down for Montana, down for southwestern portions of Alberta, down for west central portions of Saskatchewan. Rain showers off the western Washington coastline here. Rain showers in northern Baja, California, southern California, and southern Arizona, and north central Mexico, and some rain showers in north central Mexico, and rain showers in southeastern Alaska here. Okay, take a look at satellite loop here, and it shows mm, spotty clouds coming from northern New England, and for the Great Lakes, and then Minnesota, Iowa, and Missouri, and now for eastern Dakotas, then for eastern Nebraska, down for eastern Kansas here, and some clouds coming to much of the greater southwest, and land clouds coming from northern Washington, and northern California coastline, and that to see down for southeastern Alaska, and some Clouds from British Columbia Dan through Atlantic Canada here. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around and region here, and it shows temperatures will be 20 to 25 degrees below average from the Tennessee Valley to the Middle Atlantic State. Heavy lake effect snow will develop downwind from the Great Lakes. Cold air pressure over the southern plains to the Tennessee Valley will move eastward off the southeast coast by Friday morning. A second cold air pressure center over the west central Canada will move southeastward to the central southern plains by Friday evening. Upslope flow associated with a circulation around the second high pressure will be aiding in the blues and light snow over the parts of the northern high plains that will move into the central high plains by Friday morning before ending by Friday afternoon. Meanwhile, cold air moving over the Great Lakes and upper level energy will aid producing light convect snow downwind from the Great Lakes on Thursday morning as the development clipper system will move eastward from the northern plains to the Great Lakes by early Friday morning and then northeastward to the eastern Canada by Friday evening. The associated cold front will move eastward and off the east coast by Friday afternoon and the system will produce light snow over parts of the upper Mississippi Valley on Thursday morning and lake and end snow over the Great Lakes Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. Still be heavy downwind from the Great Lakes Friday morning to Friday evening and moisture trying to move northward from the western Gulf of Mexico will produce areas of rain, freezing rain over parts of southwest Texas on Thursday morning and moisture will continue to move northward and Produce light rain over parts of the southern Texas and the southwest Thursday evening and the Friday morning. That rain will be restricted to southern Texas by Friday evening. And our forecast discussion of rain region here, and it shows blustery and bitterly cold expected today with wind chills below zero for much of the day. A fast moving system will likely bring a great period of snow into much of the region Friday morning. The factory rush out. Drive up cold weather will return for Saturday with some warmer by Sunday. Forecast coming to become spread low for early next week for the potential for some unsettled weather. In near term forecast, bone chill and cold. Northwest winds stable to beneath high pressure with mostly clear conditions as temperatures warmer than the teens. Wind and chill values should measure about the 15 degree below advisory threshold with valves around the single digits over much of the region as a few degrees below zero across the high terrain will allow the wind chill advisory warning to drop off about 11 a.m. Our town after the Boston satellite, ocean effect process is ongoing and over the water is impacting the eastern Cape. Expecting light to persist toward midday, concluding as wind stable web. Camps across the region already show some decent snow accumulations as a consequence of ocean effect snow up to an inch. And today's forecast here. Today's highs will expect widespread temperatures in the teens for the month to to around 20 degrees around New York City here. <coughs> and 
and take a look at day one today tonight. Wind chill advisory day two for seven. Fight it for Wednesday. No hazard weather expected at time. All right, let's take a look at our forecast for today. It goes like this: for this afternoon, sunny skies have at 17 degrees with a wind chill advisory as low as two below zero. Southwest wind about nine miles per gust today is 20 miles per hour for tonight. Chance of snow showers mainly after 4 a.m. Increase the clouds below. Temperature rises in around 20 degrees by 5 a.m. And southwest wind in the run. 8 to 11 miles by gust size, 22 miles by chance of precipitation, 30%. Little no circulation expected. At Friday, a chance of snow showers mainly before 1 p.m. Most of the clouds can have about 31 degrees southwest wind about 11 to 18 miles per gust size, 38 miles by chance of precipitation, 50%. New circulation ran an inch possible. Friday, night, most of the clouds then gradually become a most of the clouds lower, 13 degrees west wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday. Sky sky about 23 degrees. West wind about 5 to 9 miles per hour. Sky is 23 miles per hour. Sky most of the sky low about 9 degrees. Sunday most of the time most of the sky about 32 low about 24 degrees. Monday most of the sky high about 35 low about 22 degrees. Tuesday most of the sky about chest of snow Tuesday night with high wind 35 low about 23 degrees and chest of precipitation 30 percent. On Wednesday a chance of snow most of the sky about 36 degrees chest of precipitation 30 percent. Predators what a phrase of the day a sunny enough chilly day on tap. Here we have a good day with a good positive attitude. I'll see you for a 5 o'clock evening report. Have a good day!